Herbal Life World Football Challenge continues from steamy Chicago. Today, Soldier Field will see Manchester United take on the hometown Chicago Fire. The Reds have stormed their way through the states, obliterating their MLS opponents. They're hoping to put on another show today for the Windy City. Smalling's two players. Chris Smalling is getting a shout as a center back. A lot of young players today making their debut cleverly. Comes back from Wigan. Roberto Martinez, I'm sure, wants to hold on to him. He was on loan. He'll be playing in the midfield with Carrick. Berbatov back from an ankle injury. He'll be with Danny Welbeck up top. A present, though, for the Chicago Fire. That's right. And Johnson, who's been doing very well in goal, keeping some clean sheets to solidify this back line. Gives and Cuesta in there. Pause back from injury. Hold I'm sure even though it's a friendly, Johnny is desperate to hit the ground running. It's asking a lot, isn't it, to fill shoes the size of Edwin van der Sar's. Oh, it is. And uh, he's been given that almost like that second coming of van der Sar. His skill, his distribution is very good. Just got to work on some of his timing and crosses, but a young goalkeeper for the future. Some would call him something very different. That's a lovely turn from Danny Welbeck. Berbatov trying to time his run. Is he onside? He is. Dimitar Berbatov, armed away by Sean Johnson. It was a good look at goal, though, for the Bulgarian. It was an excellent ball through from Danny Welbeck. Good looking ball, and the header is in. Corey Gibbs. What about that? It's a good ball from the outside. Papa takes it, but you see where the header comes from, just on top of the six. Jones gets out challenged in small lengths, and I'm not so sure that David De Gea, he could have come for that ball. It's plenty in the air. He has more than enough time to come and make a punch on that, which he's very good at. Work a combination on the far side, but losing out. Now can uh, Welbeck instigate something here for United. Obertan. Lovely play from Gabriel Obertan. Well, that was very nearly poetry in motion, the way he flicked it over the top. Well, the Frenchman never failing to be creative. And the risk factor, you love that. You want to encourage players to take these chances, and who cares if it doesn't come off? We're having the confidence to do that, and that's what it's all about. Great bit of skill. Just over to that, popped it over to Costa Rican, Gonzalo Segaras. Side to Nazarich, could spell this for Chicago. Paladini. Oduro has help arriving. And Ibaba's cross. Niako again slipped. The shot is up for grabs. A wild swing. Nazari trying to chick his way through. Christian Nazari showing some skill inside the penalty area. Well, you see Nazari as the ball kindly falls down to him. It's not cleared properly by Manu. And this a little bit of skill. I like this. He goes in and out, trying to create space against Chris Smallings. Nice. Half a yard is all you want to create. He almost finds the back post. Make it difficult for Manu. Good ball. Segara is on the move. Inside Overton. Segara is keeping it low. Niako! Well, it was goal bound till De Gea stuck out a right foot to deflect it away. First big save in his United career. Quick reactions from he as well as Patrick Niarco. And here's a great cut. Sagadis. And he just lays it right into Niarco's feet. Watch. One touch, two. Quick release. Excellent play from them. All, all around from Chicago. Really like a... Here at Soldier Field. It's the highest attended club game in Chicago history. And they may have something to cheer about again as Niarco gets in on the blind side. Good service! But the finish isn't there. What a chance for Baggio, who's Sidic. He completely scuffed it. Well, you're not going to get an easier chance than that. And it was really created from the hustle, determination from Patrick Niako. He gets inside of Smalling, plays the ball across. Here's the 50-50 challenge from Jones on Papa. All alone, on the doorstep, just tap it in. One of the better skilled players in the league. Likes to take chances, creative. Opportunity, perhaps the shot. Oh, and a save by De Gea. He chipped that onto the post. A fierce drive from Baruch. And an excellent save from De Gea. I think that will prove to have been. Well, very refreshing. Look at this as he just dips the shoulder, steps through. 
a launch pad this could prove to be for the Chicago Fire season. Uh, Corey Gibbs with the goal after 13 minutes, but here's Rooney. And United are back on level terms, just like that. An exquisite finish. And Wayne Rooney does all the magic in the world to beat Conway. You can't fall asleep when you have a player like Wayne Rooney on the pitch. And you see that from Mikulic, the number 23. He just turns his back, gets caught ball watching. Great finish, though, from Wayne Rooney. Has it back. Rafael driving for the byline. Needs an outlet. No, he doesn't. He's got it all himself. Well, how about that for a super sub role? First touch of the game. Creativity is excellent. And here's the overlap. And you see as Fabio just, he really just takes advantage of the space. The give and go into space here from Nani. Does very well to get around the Akko. And then he just blasts it near post underneath John Conway. He should do better. Just cover the near post. Wow. It actually doesn't even blast it. It's like, it just breaks. As if in response to getting booked. Pulling out a party piece and finding Makeda as well. And Nani. Thought about the shot and goes on himself. Nani! Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. A skillful pass, then lays it back, and then look at the vision. First time over the top. Makeda wisely cuts back, finds Nani. He gets a bit of luck here because he's trying to get through. It pops off a defender, and then the just scoop over John Conway. He makes it look simple, doesn't he? Here's where he gets a bit lucky. It's off of Palladini. Corey Gibbs is just like, uh-oh, don't need that. And there's the scoop. Not a lot of MLS teams can do that, but there's Frank Klopas trying to change things here. Stepped in as interim head coach from his technical director position. It's all over, and United have their third consecutive victory in the United States.